hey guys hope you all are doing great welcome back to stock my closet for today's project i have taken 2.5 meter cotton fabric firstly i'll cut the kurti and for that i have cut out two lengths from the fabric i haven't taken full width of fabric i have cut out the width according to the bottom or ghera measurement of the kurti including seam allowance and i have folded the fabric by half in width so here i have four layers of fabric now I'll mark the measurements. In my measurement, kurti length is 42 inch and I have taken around 2 inch for seam allowance. Now I'll mark the vertical measurements. From the shoulder, mark a point at 10.75 inch shoulder to burst measurement, 15 inch shoulder to waist measurement, 22 inch shoulder to hip measurement and 42.5 inch length of kurti. For shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 14 inch, so half of it will be 7. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point, mark half of armhole round. That is 7 inch in my measurement. Mark 1 inch inwards for front armhole curve and join it to the shoulder slope point. Now I'll mark the round measurements. For chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest round is 35 inch. 35 plus 2 is 37 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 9.25 inch. For burst, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst round is 37 inch. 37 plus 3 is 40 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 10 inch. For waist, again I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is 31 inch. 31 plus 3 is 34. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.5 inch. For hip, again I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, hip round is 38 inch. 38 plus 3 is... Now I'll join these points using curve ruler. Give slight curve to the pointed shape. Now I'll draw front and back armhole curves. I'm adding around 1 inch of seam allowance on the sides. Bottom measurement is 13 inch. Join it to the hip point and I've added 1 inch of seam allowance. So with this marking of kurti is complete and I'll cut it out. Now I'll finish the neckline and for that I have taken pasting buckram. This is on fold. Now I'll draw a neckline shape and for that firstly I'll mark neck width that is 3 inch. Neck depth is 4.5 inch. Again mark neck width point 3 inch and join these points. Here I'll draw a round shape neckline. I'm adding 1 inch of margin. Now from neck width, again mark a point at 8 inch. This is neck depth, including half inch of seam allowance. And here I'm drawing keyhole shape. And I've added 0.75 inch of seam allowance. This is the collar part and this is the neckline part. You can keep collar straight or you can give slight curve shape like this. And now I'll cut it out. So I have cut out the neckline on the buckram and this is how it will look. Now firstly I'll finish the neckline and for that I have taken the piece of same fabric. This is on fold. From on fold side mark a point at 4 inch. Actual neck width till collar is 3 inch. And neck width till neckline is 4 inch because collar width is 1 inch. That's why I have marked point at 4 inch. Now I'll mark a small tuck here 
and I'll place the neckline on the wrong side of the fabric and I'll iron it. Now I'll cut the fabric in the neckline shape leaving round 0.75 inch of seam allowance. Mark diagonal cut on the curve like this and now overlap the fabric on the buckram and make a basting stitch to secure it. So I made a stitch. I'll trim the excess fabric. Now I'll attach the neckline with the kurti. I have placed and pinned up the neckline on the kurti. And now I'll make a stitch along the buckram. So I made a stitch. Now I'll trim this fabric in the neckline shape leaving half inch of seam allowance and also I've made small cuts all around the neckline. Now I'll turn the bookram towards the wrong side of the kurti. And the front neckline is ready and this is how it looks. Now I'll finish the collar. And for that I have taken a piece of contrast fabric. This is on fold. Now place the collar like this. And iron it. Just remember I have two layers. Now I'll make a stitch on the outer side. So I made a stitch and this is how it looks. You have to make a stitch along the buckram and not on the buckram. And this is how it looks from the back side. Now I'll trim the fabric in the collar shape leaving half inch of seam allowance. Now on the stitched side make small cuts. And turn the collar inside out and iron it. Now fold the seam allowance and Mark it with the chalk like this. Now I'll make a stitch on this line to secure the seam allowance fabric. So I made a stitch. Now you can make another stitch to secure it or you can uh, do overlocking. I'll show you both ways. 
here I have made two stitches and I have trimmed the excess fabric and on this side I made one stitch and I have overlocked the edges and this is how it looks now I'll attach the collar with the neckline take the stitch as guiding line and join the collar with the neckline On the corner, turn collar seam allowance fabric inwards and continue the stitch. So I made a stitch and this is how it looks. And with this kurti neckline is ready. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. If you do please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. And do subscribe my channel for more such videos. And I will see you soon. Till then take care. Bye bye.